Ricky's black. And I love playing Is It Racist with Ricky. Oh, um, because okay. he is yeah. he is one of those people who believes that it is impossible to be racist towards white people. That's not true. Thank you. That's not true. Thank you. Now we're not gonna, we're not going to go into it. We can actually. That's like cause, that's like cause you're you're a minority, right? Bro, so but like your your argument's more weight than mine. Yeah, but it's like to, to to put it simply, and this is like some shit you're taught as a child. Two wrongs don't make a right. Right. Just because a certain people oppressed you and enslaved you, we know what we are. We know the history. Doesn't give you the right to like be an asshole if you know that's not the case anymore. Right. So I'll I'll give you. The I mean, it, it's I'll give me wrong. The, there's still there's still in difference and and no, inequality there's, there's, there's things. Definitely, but like, there's definitely differences. There's degrees of racism. Like for sure, it's still be, real. But. Being racist towards a person of color and being racist towards a white person can be completely different things. But to say one is and one isn't when it's the same principle is ridiculous. I mean, me. I, I think everybody can be racist. Everyone right. everyone is racist. And and his his point of the argument is the definition of racism has to do with the power structure. Right, it has to do with power. Mm, that's not true. Which I agree. I think that's a dumb definition that's because true. in your argument, you are inherently saying that black people cannot be more powerful than white people, which is not of itself a racist thing to say. That is a racist thing to say. And like, you know who agrees to that statement? The fucking Klan. Well, saying, <laughs> saying that it can't happen is different from saying that it's improbable at this certain point in time. Yeah, I mean, like, like listen. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, you know, two different things. Like, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you the example. Likely, I'll, I'll give the example I put up to him last week. Um, so in Minneapolis, um, there is a shortage of students, meaning there's not enough students enrolling in public school, so they have to they have to fire some teachers. So the policy they're coming up with in public school, public school, yeah. Oh, they have too many people on hand. It's like we don't need this. They many they, teachers. they they have too many teachers for the current student population because right. not enough students are enrolling in public school. It's in, small in this mini- classes, and there's not in, that many of them. In this Minneapolis school district. Mm-hmm. So the average class size is about 19 to 23 people. Um, the average um, demographic of the population is it's 33% non-white. So like black, Asian, Hispanic, what have you. And the rest is all white. <laughs> non-white. So <laughs> so the, what, the, what the school district did, and the union agreed to this. The teachers union agreed to this. They are going to fire the white teachers first. Why? So they can ha- reach a more equitable um, standard of diversity among the teachers for the student body. Okay. Now, I have no problem with having teachers being, like, hiring more black teachers or mm-hmm. more Hispanic teachers. That is a good thing. But if you are going to just fire white teachers it's without— dis- It's discrimination. Just just because they're—a like, reason they're fired is because they're white. That's discrimination. And it's racist. I mean, that's that's did this happen? Because that's crazy. Yes, awesome. that that is happening. That's that's a, that's a class like class act. Oh. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, they're, I mean, and they're gonna win. Racist. They're gonna win big. So, Christian, I'll ask you: Is that racist? To fire the white teachers? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Definitely. Of course, Ricky would be like, no, because it's the power structure. I'm like, I guess I can be no, right. No, no. I can be right, or I can have friends. The thing is, like, that is a very <laughs> narrow-minded view of racism because is. racism is so it much is. more complex. Than it is. That. It's it so is. much more. There's so many layers to racism. Yeah. And like talking about talking about it the way that your friend Ricky is talking about it, right? And Ricky's a very, very smart man. He's talking about it with a focus on the system. Yes. Like, okay, the system is racist. But that doesn't mean that's the only thing that qualifies as racist. You can make a racist remark. There's a funny there's a funny uh comedian. Who 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 was it? It was a white comedian. And he was like, yo, everything, oh, what's his name? Kyle Kinane. I never heard of him. Hilarious. He does this really great stand-up. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. But he talks about, um, he's like, you know, racism, sometimes it's like, sometimes it's by accident. And he's like, <laughs> okay. He's like, you know, you're walking in the park and you go, oh, they're, pl- oh, they're playing Frisbee? He's like, it's not really that messed up, but it's racist. Yeah, yeah. 